Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I know out here in the job market, it's hard and it can be kind of challenging and kind of disheartening when you know you see different industries that you may want to get into but you don't know how to try to work your way into that field. So today I want to talk about my experience and then how I actually transitioned into the advertising industry. So let's rewind. I didn't graduate with a major in anything similar to advertising. I majored in history. That is what my degree is in. I was just like, I just need to get my degree. We're spending all this money. I just need to come out with something at this point. <laughs> Even though I was majoring in history, I was still trying to be a little strategic with how I selected my classes. The interest that I had was to become maybe a radio personality. I wasn't really a part of any internships, but I would still, you know, reach out to people to volunteer my time and just, just so I could gain the experience. I hit up the people that were in charge of like the radio station at the university and I was getting involved with those types of things and it was good experience. This was also in a way to help boost my confidence and kind of think about qualities that I would need to excel in order to be a radio personality. So I wanted to get comfortable with speaking in front of a camera, reading off scripts, just things like that. I was also working full time in hospitality. So I actually, I was going to school full time, I was working full time, then I was still trying to gain experience in things that interest me. Now, after I graduated, well, I wanted to get the heck from up north. I moved to Florida off the strength of still having contacts in hospitality. So I knew somebody who lived in Florida at the time, was a general manager at a hotel, he was able to get me in. So therefore, I had a job when I moved down there. Once I moved to Florida, and mind you, I moved to Florida alone. I moved to Florida because I had went on a trip when I was in college to Florida and I fell immediately in love with the state and just the palm trees. And it kind of helped me get to where I am today. I had went natural. I decided to document my natural hair journey. And if you actually go back to some of the videos that I have on my channel, you'll see my natural hair videos. They're a little cringe. But uh, I decided to dive into a little YouTube journey before they even was really paying out any money like that. I did it because I had a passion and I wanted to document my natural hair journey. I was doing my YouTube videos and then I also created a blog, just a blog using WordPress. It's already have free templates, things like that. So I created a little website, pretty much give tips about, you know, natural hair and stuff. Then back when Craigslist was still a thing, I don't even know if Craigslist is still a thing now, but I was looking for other opportunities for work. So I didn't want to be in hospitality anymore. That was just kind of like how I was able to pay for my apartment when I was in college, give me a little bit of spending money, very little bit of spending money. Um, but I didn't want to be in hospitality anymore. I'm like, I need to make more money. Um, and this just isn't going to do it for me personally. So I started applying for just little marketing jobs and stuff I saw on Craigslist. And it just so happened that there was a guy by the name of Steve. That's my guy. Uh, hey, Steve. And he gave me an opportunity based off of like pretty much my initiative. Sure, I didn't have experience in the field, but I had a passion for it in some way or form, right? Because I was doing things on the side for myself. That's probably one of the, the first things that I want to point out. Just because you may not have a job in the field that you're looking at, you know, it's hard sometimes to get entry level positions. You can help yourself with searching ways how you can kind of gain experience. What kind of certifications can you take? Depending on what you're trying to do. What can you do in your personal life that'll help you build that experience to then be able to put on your resume and document what you do have experience in. Even though my website was not all that professional, it still showed that I tried. I was able to get the, the job. From there, I actually learned a whole lot. It was a great opportunity. I excelled um, pretty fast in that position. Honestly, still to this day, it's probably one of the best jobs that I've ever had. It allowed me to be creative. I made great relationships with the people that worked there. And also, I gained a little bit of exposure when it came to like creating ads. And fast forward a couple years or so, I met my now husband. We wound up, you know, we dated for a little bit or whatever, and we wound up moving up north to Philly. And mind you, when we moved to Philly, I actually didn't have anything lined up. I had no job, okay? I was living on edge. But within about a month or two, I was able to land a job based off of my marketing experience. I say all that to say this. 
If you do not have experience in a particular field, but you have an interest in trying to get your foot in the door somewhere, right? See what free opportunities you can take on. For instance, if I still was interested in being a radio personality, obviously if I go to apply to to be a sportscaster, they're gonna be like, oh girlfriend, you have no experience. However, even something as simple as starting a YouTube channel and getting very comfortable in front of the camera, speaking to the camera, talking about different topics, even for instance, finding some of these um, networks out here, such as like a PBS type of situation, because that's another thing that I did. When I moved to Florida, I actually volunteered some time. I found the local like PBS channel that was in Florida and I was volunteering my time. I wasn't on camera, but I was still building relationships with people and I was reaching out to people. Because at the end of the day, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? If you find somebody's email address and you hit them up and, ex and express interest in whatever they have to offer, right? What's the worst thing that can happen? What, they say no? Okay, cool, but at least you know you tried. You're never gonna get anywhere unless you actually take that step. At the end of the day, see what interests you, and then, listen, the internet is crazy. AI is crazy. Like, you have so many resources at your fingertips. Just do a little research. There's a way to figure out how you can potentially get yourself in the door to build a reputation, to gain exposure, all that. And then from there, go ahead and continue to move your, your way into whatever that field is. So that is my tip. If you guys want me to dive in a little deeper on anything, please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you're interested in learning, hearing, especially when it comes to my journey. And I'll see you in my next video.